Good morning. My name is Scott Johnson. I'm a science officer at the Bahamas National Trust, and I am on the beautiful island of Andros. Currently, the location that I'm in is Owenstown, Andros, a very special spot, both historically and for birds and other wildlife. I am currently on Andros, working with UMBC, University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and we are studying the Bahama Oriole. The Bahama Oriole is a critically endangered bird, and it's an endemic bird found only in the Bahamas and only on the island of Andros. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this amazing bird and some of the stuff that we do, or some of the research that's currently being done um, on this bird. So stay tuned. Andros is the largest archipelago in the Bahamas, consisting of hundreds of islands within itself. This collection of islands has a land area of almost 6,000 kilometers square and is home to a rich diversity of species. It is also home to our largest Bahamian rock iguana and the highest concentration of blue in the world. Rock iguana. It is also home to four endemic Bahamian birds, one of which is the Bahama Oriole. The Bahama Oriole is one of over 30 species of Orioles found in the New World. Previously a subspecies of the Great Antillean Oriole, it was elevated to full species status in 2010 along with three other species found on the islands of Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Hispaniola. This songbird was found on the islands of Abaco and Andros, but was extirpated on Abaco in the 1990s and is now found only on Andros. The Bahama Oriole is currently listed as critically endangered by the IUCN with a current population of less than 300 birds. Their low numbers were believed to have been attributed to nest parasitism by the shiny cowbird and possible predation by invasive predators such as house cats. Recent research by the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and the Bahamas National Trust is showing that the pinelands are a very important habitat for Bahama Orioles. Our day began in the morning in the pinelands. It rained almost every afternoon I was on island, and the high humidity led to morning fog in the pinelands. We spent a lot of time trekking through the Andrus pine lands in search of Orioles. We walked along the logging roads throughout North and Central Andrus and spent several days in Blue Holes National Park. Sometimes, climbing pine trees was needed in order to get a better vantage point to see and hear Orioles. Following Bahama Orioles in the Bahamian pinelands is not an easy task. Oftentimes, the birds would take us into areas that are overgrown with plants such as bracken fern and other weedy species. Sometimes we come out with unexpected gifts. <laughs> Bahama Orioles breed during the spring and summer months. Orioles, like this young female, can be seen inspecting palm trees for potential nest sites. They can also be seen collecting nest material from palms in preparation and during building of nests. Bahama Orioles have been observed nesting in several species of palm trees such as coconut, thatch palm, sable palm, and even royal palms. 
they also nest in pine trees. It is believed that female orioles, like this adult female, builds the nest. She meticulously weaves a basket-like nest under the palm fronds and carefully selected pine branches. Nest building can take several days. Orioles weave their nests with as much skill and precision as our finest Bahamian straw basket makers. When she is completed, the end result is a beautiful basket-shaped nest, perfect for holding eggs and raising chicks. The Bahama Oriole is not the only endemic bird nesting in the pine trees. In a dead pine tree not too far from a Oriole nest near Blue Hole National Park, a pair of endangered Bahama swallows were nesting and raising chicks. In order to collect genetic information from Orioles, mist nets were employed and set up in areas where there was Oriole activity. Orioles that were caught were banded with color bands on their legs and morphometric and genetic information was collected. Afterwards, the Orioles were released. Wildlife research is a crucial part of conservation because it gives conservationists and organizations like the Bahamas National Trust the information needed to help it fulfill its mandate to manage national parks in the Bahamas. By partnering with institutions like UMBC and other schools, we strengthen international bonds, gain valuable partnerships, and learn more about our islands and the wildlife and culture. Blue Hole National Park is one of five national parks in Andrews, and this 40,000 acre park offers animals like the Bahama Oriole a safe place to breed and forage. If you would like to help us continue our work, please support the BNT and become a member. We cannot do this great work without you.